We are now going to deal with rectangles and construct a rectangle. If we look down at the properties of a rectangle, the rectangle has four congruent angles, four right angles. It also has diagonals that are congruent. Again, all the properties from above, from parallelogram, come down, but a rectangle has two additional congruent angles, all of them. So let's see, four angles, 360 in a circle. It makes them all 90 degrees. And then also diagonals are congruent. So we can construct it with either of those. So let's just go after four right angles. So let's just start with a line somewhere. And again, anything I can do in GeoGebra, we can do on paper. And let's make right angles. We do that by circles. It takes two circles here to make, oh, that's not where I want to put it. You don't want to make them concentric. You want to make them overlap. So two circles there. I'm just using A and B. Doesn't matter what size circles because we're just going to make perpendiculars. Find the intersection of those circles. That would be that tool. Let's see. Well, we want C and D, and then the intersection of E and F. And then I draw lines there. So there'd be a line through F and G, and a line through what is that? That's H and I. So we've got a right angle here, a right angle over here. So that dot right there, let's find that dot. That dot right there, J, is the corner of one of, of our rectangle, one of the corners. And then right here, K, is another corner. So now we need to make another right angle up here somewhere. It can be anywhere. So we go back to circles. Any size. They don't have to be the same. I just happen to be making them the same this time. And draw a line through them. Let's see, that's N and O. So N and O. So there is the other corner, and here is the other corner. Because once I make three right angles, that's 270 degrees. All that's left is another right angle. So intersection. Of these lines, intersection of these lines, and our rectangle is right here. Now, sometimes in GeoGebra, you gotta be careful where you're getting those dot where you're clicking on. There's a rectangle, and now we can actually move some of these things. We can move the line up, maybe. Oh, uh, probably just need to move a. Ooh, there we go. Shrink it in, bring it out. I can move B. It in, out, and bring it down. Oh, yep, that's bringing it down. Shrinking, shrinking it down, making it more rectangular. What do you mean more rectangular? There you go. So there's your nice rectangle. Three right angles make a rectangle. What's the other way, the easier way? Well, the diagonals bisect, and the diagonals are congruent. So I've got to make two diagonals that are the same size. And they gotta cut each other in half. So they gotta meet in the middle. Well, that's actually really simple. Make a circle. Draw a diameter. Now, I'm not just drawing a diameter, I'm drawing a line all the way through, because that's what I kinda need to do. But we'll just draw diameters after we get this done. So, draw a line all the way through. I need to know over here where these are hitting. So, you know, find the intersection of the circle in this, uh, let's just try and do it there. Find that. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. See, it kind of, it created a point D also. I don't want to do that. I just want to find the intersection right there. And then right here. Did I miss? I missed. So, B, C, D, and E are the corners of our rectangle. Because... The diagonals are bisectors. Again, you know, they're meeting in the middle kind of thing. And they're also congruent because the diagonals are actually diameters. That is a rectangle. You don't believe me? Well, that means you measure the angles, right? I don't know if I can measure the angles on a polygon. I don't think I can, actually. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can. 90s. 
Oh, okay, you'll prove it. The other side 90. Well, let's go this one 90. Uh, it's going to say 270. Because I went the wrong way with measuring the angle. 90, 90, 90. Awesome. So we made one circle, made two diameters. Those are the diagonals of the circle. They are congruent because they're diameters. And they are bisectors because they're diameters. Simplest thing to make. Rectangle.